everyone and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you um, my hair care routine what i do to take care of my hair what i do to help it grow longer since my hair was like actually stuck to a certain length and it wouldn't grow longer but i sort of helped it with products also i will be trying a pinterest hack to have curly hair and everyone to know how it actually turned out so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you guys on my next one So the most important thing when it comes to hair care is how and what products you use to wash your hair. First, I wash my scalp twice using the Scaldus Professional anti dandruff Shampoo, which is great if you're on a budget because it is not expensive. I have very dandruff prone scalp and this helps me keep my scalp clean perfectly. Then I use the Caldus Professional Deep Moisture Conditioner which gives my hair so much moisture. I like to keep it in as much as possible so most of the time while the conditioner is setting in the ends of my hair, I give myself a whole facial because I ain't gonna have no pimples. Apart from this, using cold water rather than hot on your hair helps your hair to be shiny because all the hot water makes the hair pretty. After that, I use this active milk mask from the brand Milkshake which actually smells like vanilla icing and this helps to construct my split ends. This is great because it's paraben free and paraben can be harmful to your hair. This helps lock in my moisture even more. I don't really like to towel dry my hair because it makes my hair very frizzy so I just use it to wrap it around my head and then let it air dry. After washing my hair, I like to apply all of the products with my hair upside down and I start by using this milkshake curl designer which is great to form the wavy areas of my hair which used to be curls but obviously I ruined them but anyways Then I use this she silk infusion which has a reconstructing complex and is also paraben free This adds on moisture as well as shine to my hair I would highly recommend this especially when you're straightening your hair yourself. Last but not least, I use this Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Dry Oil which reduces the frizz in my hair perfectly. Now for the Pinterest hack. The hack was to use straws in order to achieve super curled hair. I found wrapping the hair around the straws very difficult at first, although it looks easy, but after a few tries I sort of got the hang of it. Will surely be practicing this again though because I believe that I can get a beautiful curl do with this hack if I do it perfectly right. I didn't feel myself wrapping all of my hair around the straws because it took me quite a lot of time. If you guys want me to try more Pinterest hacks, comment down below or like this video because I'd love to, obviously. This is realistic as hell because it's not as easy as Pinterest makes it seem and there's hairstylists who have YouTube videos make it seem, so... my loves this is how it turned out i didn't keep it in very long because like, i have to go out soon and i noticed that i couldn't keep it on for two to three hours but next time i will definitely redo it so i believe that if i kept it on longer it would definitely form better yeah that's it i still am um, digging this my hair all it was once very curly throughout the years it became wavy rather than curly since i have been straightening it you know heat damage and 
stuff. I'm very happy though about how this turned out, sort of very natural looking. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was of some help to you. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it and like this video if you want more hair tutorials or more videos where I try Pinterest hacks. And yes, I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye.